truckers, I'm Tugger. GPS navigation leads a trucker onto an ATV road in Oregon, and a hand-drawn license plate grabs police attention in Kentucky. Plus, we've got a happy update on a trucker's pet that was rescued following a big rig accident in California. And that's just a look at the stories we're covering, along with our cat scale rig of the week on this edition of the Trucker News Channel. <laughs> As wildfires force highway closures in the western U.S., one trucker traveling to eastern Oregon found himself on a road designated for ATVs in the summer and snowmobiles in the winter. The driver said he was using a typical map app. Police warn that apps like Google Maps and Waze can't always distinguish inaccessible roads from passable routes. It isn't just a problem for truckers, though. <laughs> While police were assisting the trucker, a sedan pulled up. <laughs> Drivers traveling in this area of the country should visit the state's DOT website for detour and closure information to avoid learning the hard way like this guy did. Creativity is always appreciated, but police in Kentucky were left in awe after encountering a first for them, a hand-drawn license plate. Police said that from a distance, the plate almost looked like the real deal. Interestingly enough, though, this wasn't the first attempt at an artistic rendering of a license plate. Last summer, a big rig driver in California was cited for the same offense. The only key difference, other than misspelling the state's name, is that the trucker included the registration sticker in his drawing. As Kentucky police said, pro tip, don't forget to draw the registration sticker. <laughs> Time is money, and CatScale can help your drivers save time weighing. Drivers know their axle and gross weights before pulling off the scale, and CatScale weights are always guaranteed. Drivers get back on the road faster with the Weigh My Truck app from CatScale. That's a nice ring! That's the ring of the week! CatScale ring of the week! Back in 2015, Ryan Toon of Potoka, Illinois, wanted to order a new truck, but before he could, he found a 2016 Peterbilt 389 for sale on the lot, which was exactly what he planned on ordering. Nice rig! Before the truck was delivered, Ryan had already purchased the 14-inch stainless steel visor and super low half fenders ready to mount, accenting the metallic black and chrome color scheme. Then came an air cleaner, cab, and sleeper light bars, and more chrome. With a 550 horsepower Cummins ISX engine and a 13-speed transmission, the truck became part of the fleet at the family business, which was founded by Ryan's great-grandfather in 1945. Nice rig! If you have a rig you'd like us to profile here at the Catscale Rig of the Week, send us a video at Rig of the Week at thetrucker.com. Nice rig! We have a happy update to a story we brought you a couple of weeks ago where a trucker's pet gained social media fans after being rescued from a big rig accident. Miss Kitty, who became known online as hashtag Big Rig Kitty, has been reunited with her owner, Mary Taylor of Arkansas. Mary and Miss Kitty were both hospitalized following the accident, separately of course, but are now happily together again. Mary's daughter-in-law previously told authorities that Miss Kitty always accompanies Taylor on her trips. Hopefully the pair will be back on the road soon. And now I've got her back, and thank you for taking care of her. Well, that's it for this edition. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to click that little red subscribe button below. You can also go to thetrucker.com for all the latest news stories just for truckers. On behalf of everyone here at the Trucker News Channel, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Ah.